hi everybody welcome back to my channel family food and fun um so today it is going to be i'm not even going to say a cook off because that's the wrong word we're not competing but today is going to be just full of cooking for me today and i just wanted to share each recipe for everything that i'm going to cook today so a calabash <laughs> of soul food rather of soul food so this is going to be the menu my favorite food <laughs> we're going to do meatloaf mm. cabbage mm. yams and mm. it's not none of them canned yams no 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 um baked macaroni and cheese mm. sweet potato pie mm. and i think that was it right meatloaf cabbage yams baked mac and cheese sweet potato pie yeah so that's about yeah. it so every now and then you know we get that itch for some heavy thanksgiving soul food food uh we will eat it any day of the year it doesn't matter it could be hot outside cold outside it does not matter we will eat it so i just wanted to share each recipe with you so how i'm going to do it for the sake of the time of the video i will break down each dish and give it its own video and show you how i do it and i will just poach post each video every day this week so but there will be a video for today and then we'll just keep posting 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 until we get to the final meal yeah so hope you guys enjoy this stay tuned i'll be back and as always if you're liking give it a thumbs up make sure you like it make sure you subscribe if you have not already share tell somebody that knows somebody so they can take this journey with us so we can share this soul food love so i'll be back guys peace okay guys so we're back and we're gonna start with our meatloaf first so i had two packs of ground chicken because if you remember from previous videos i don't do the ground beef anymore yeah just watch that other video so this is my ground chicken and i went on ahead and put two eggs in normally i would put one if i just use one pack but i'm using two and they're usually like a pound so i'm gonna do that's two pounds so i just did two eggs and I love using Lipton onion soup mix. So I'm just gonna use a packet of that. Sprinkle that into my meatloaf. Now I like to do about half the pack and then I like to mix, mix, mix and do the other half of the pack. But I'm gonna take my Lowry seasoning salt, not too much because that Lipton onion soup mix has you know some salt in it as well and i like to use regular black pepper but not a lot because remember my husband doesn't like anything that's gonna have a bite he can't even handle texas peat so all right and we're just gonna mix this bit together to start us off Just to get that mixed around a little bit now I'm going to put the rest of my Lipton packet in I'm really not going to mess with too much seasoning salt again let me reach over here I forgot to bring this with me okay now I like to use Manwich. This is my choice. You don't have to do this. You could do whatever you want to do. But I top my meatloaf with manwich. But I like to go ahead and just take a little bit and mix a little bit in my meat already. Because this is ground chicken, so it, it's got to get all the help that it can. Okay, so let's set that there. Give me just a second to rinse my hands. okay so all right so let's get this mixed around in here so that was just two eggs a whole packet um, of Lipton onion soup mix a little bit of seasoning salt and pepper and then some of the sandwich sauce already And I already have my oven preheated at 355. It's gonna be hot in here today with 
with all this food going so and then there we have it that's our consistency let's move this stuff out the way and then I just like to take a tin pan and get it in my tin pan here and get it ready for the oven Yes, my hands are clean, so I just like to shape it. All right, so I'm just going to cover this with my Reynolds wrap, uh, put it on in the oven, and then I'll go ahead and get my other things started so i always like to go ahead and start with my meat first because it really doesn't take long for everything else so that's pretty much it that's easy for my meatloaf when i get ready to pull it out when i get ready to pull it out of the oven to put on the sandwich sauce i'll come back and show you that so i'll be back okay guys so we're back the thing you see is my yams rolling rolling away I took the um ooh, hot 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 I took the meatloaf out of the oven. Let me bring you closer so you guys can see. Let me tilt you down. So yes, and of course it's gonna have the light color because yes, it is ground chicken and not ground beef. So at this point, I just want to take my remaining sandwich and pour it over it all right that's it just pour it over it and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna place this back in the oven because i want the sandwich sauce to cook down and in so I'm gonna place this back in the oven and I'll pretty much time myself to see how long I put it back in there to let you guys know how long. And then um, I will be back once it's, the meatloaf is done. But I'll also be back because I believe our yams are pretty much about there and our elbow noodles should be about there. So I'll be back. Okay guys, so here is our meatloaf. Pulled it out the oven. Let me see if I can try to get a little slice off so you guys can check it out. This is the meatloaf. There we go. Ground chicken meatloaf. Yes. Let's taste it. Let's just do that right there. Let me get a fork real quick. And remember, this is ground chicken, not ground beef. So if you can see it, ground chicken, not ground beef. Let's taste it. Okay, that's really good. I love the sandwich flavor. I can taste the Lipton onion soup mix and everything in there. And it's nice, it's juicy, it's tender, it's not all dried out. Yeah. So that's going to be good. So all that I'm going to do for that is just put the Reynolds wrap back on it. And then let's get off to the yams for the sweet potato pie. So I'll be back.